This is your queen crushing uh, tube. That's how we call it in my family. So this is actually a queen catcher and a queen marking tube. And so and so she's running around in here. And I'm gonna just kind of gently let her work her way down in here. And then when I see her like kind of walking in, I'm gonna shake them so she falls down. Um, I don't think they form either. Uh, or I could just do it the, the easy way and she would just walk down and perform <laughs> like as if that we were making a video of this and that she really wanted to be famous. And I've posted on the YouTube of the Maine State Beekeepers Association. So there she is running around. Green is the color of 2009. There's a five year little increment of colors. Um, the way to remember it is when requeening you always get the best white red yellow green blue um why yellow is one of the colors i have no idea because they look just like pollen and so in my yard unless i'm going to sell it it's when requeening always get the purple for yellow <laughs> and i buy a purple pen and mark my queen's purple because whoever thought of the yellow i think was ridiculous um but so now I'm marked, I've marked her. You can see she's quite young. She's really fuzzy. Like if when she flips back over, she almost looks like she has a little lion mane. She's all fuzzy. So this is a brand new young mated queen. And we know she's mated because we've been looking at the eggs and larvae. Uh, we don't know really the quality because that could be drone, but I doubt it. Um, and so here she is. Maybe she'll flip over again for us. But that's Marky and Queen. So then you can set her aside and put everything back together and then let her back into the hive. Um, that gives a few minutes to let the paint dry and so that, you know, it doesn't get wiped off as quickly. Um, sometimes you'll actually see the queens like kind of immediately like rubbing at their paint marks. Um, but so that's marking a queen. When you set her aside, always set her in the shade. Make sure she's not somewhere she can roll. And what I do, actually, little baby virgin queens, some of them can crawl right out of this tube, even they're not supposed to be able to. So sometimes I put them in my little bag, um, like the whole queen grabber, everything, so that if she were to crawl out, she would be rustling around in the back. Um, or you could put a little, you know, cloth or our special rag. Make sure you put that plunger down because when I put her in my bag and the plunger was back here and she did get it. Right, 